Imagine waiting for your new gaming console to arrive, you ordered it online, and now you're counting the days, hours, and minutes till it gets delivered. You're eager to unbox it, plug it in, and play your favorite games. But have you ever wondered about the journey your order takes from the moment you hit order now to the time it lands on your doorstep? That, my friends, is what we call lead time. Lead time is the total time it takes to fulfill an order from the moment it's placed until it's delivered to the customer. It's not just about shipping time. It includes order processing, production, and delivery. So if you ordered a gaming console that's already in stock, the lead time might be short. But if it's a custom-made or out-of-stock item, you might be in for a bit of a wait. So, you see the suspense of waiting for your gaming console to arrive? That's lead time for you. Now, while you're eagerly waiting for your console, there's a flurry of activity going on behind the scenes. Picture this. At Game Hub, the fictional company we've conjured up for this scenario, the clock starts ticking the moment they receive the components needed to assemble your gaming console. This is where we introduce cycle time. It's the time taken to complete each individual process in the supply chain. From receiving the components, to assembling them, packaging, and finally shipping the console. It's a well-choreographed dance, with every step meticulously planned and executed to avoid any missteps. Imagine a relay race where the baton is your console, and the runners are the different stages of the supply chain. Each runner or process must be as swift and efficient as possible. So, while you're biting your nails, GameHub is racing against the clock to minimize their cycle time and get your console to you ASAP. So, we've learned some fancy terms today, but what's the big deal about lead time and cycle time? Well, in the simplest terms, these are two sides of the same efficiency coin. Lead time, remember, is the time it takes to fulfill an order from the moment it's placed until it's delivered. On the other hand, cycle time is the time it takes to complete a specific task or process within the supply chain. Reducing both lead time and cycle time is beneficial for companies. It improves efficiency, boosts customer satisfaction, and ultimately, fattens the profit margins. For customers, a shorter lead time means getting their orders faster. A shorter cycle time? Well, that's a sign of a well-oiled, efficient company. So the next time you're waiting for an order, remember the battle of lead time and cycle time that's being fought behind the scenes. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Who knows, you might just help someone win their own waiting game.